everyone. Happy Thursday. It's Connor here once again for one last candle review of the day. We're going to be talking about Hallmark's Berry Trifle. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on the Hallmark's Blueberry Cheesecake. Definitely check out that review if you missed it. These candles, both of them, they complement each other really well. So I really enjoy both of these scents. Also, my mom is in the background. If you can see someone moving out there, she's doing some gardening right now on the porch planters. So it's not some random person on the back porch. <laughs> Don't be scared. But um, yeah, we're going to be talking about Berry Trifle. Before I get into the candle, the pedestal right here is from Hallmarks. It is a rose pedestal from QVC. I will leave the link down below in the description. It's a really pretty pedestal. Um, so much better in person, in my opinion, than the picture showed on the website. It is a really gorgeous pedestal, and I will leave the link if you're interested in shopping. Um, but yeah, let's get into this Berry Trifle review. So Berry Trifle is a Hallmarks classic this candle is not at all new. This released actually back when Homeworks launched in 2018, was it? I was definitely not there. <laughs> I um, am pretty new to Homeworks. I started shopping with them last summer, so I've only been shopping with them for about a year. So while I'm trying out the newer stuff, I'm also like going back and trying some of the older classic scents that have been around forever at Homeworks. So that is why you're still seeing a review of this one. This is actually a newer pour as well. I want to say that this is a 2022 pour. So um, I thought I would go ahead and give you guys a post burn review. Um, I kind of like to do these candle reviews because it's helpful for you guys when you guys ask me questions about a candle instead of in the comments, you know, writing all my thoughts and opinions. I can just leave you a link to a video. So that's kind of why this one is helpful and that's why I'm reviewing it. But I totally get it if you're like, I don't really want to talk about this candle because it's been around forever. <laughs> so anyways, thank you if you're here. Um, I actually have a fun backstory with this candle because although I definitely was not there when Homeworks launched on QVC, I actually have the original Berry Trifle right here. So this is the original Berry Trifle. Um, so how do I have this? I'm just going to set it right here. So my neighbor was selling this Berry Trifle candle on our like Facebook neighborhood group. And I was like, oh, I'll take it. Um, she sold it to me for $10. And I was just so happy because this is a really cool, like, Hallmarks collectible. First of all, I love the packaging. This is so darn cute. I love the pink. Um, this is also a three wick. Did you guys realize that? This is not a four wick like this one is, obviously, as you can see, four wicks there. Um, this one is actually a three wick and it is not the new 14 ounce three wick candles. This is like the OG 18 ounce three wick candle. Um, the lighting is really bad in here. I don't know why. I guess it's because the windows are not, well, I guess we're pointing at the windows and that's probably why. But, um, yeah, so this is a three wick candle. This is what the bottom looks like. It still says made in the USA. Uh, right there, obviously, and yeah, I just thought that this was really cool, so I picked it up. I'll be honest, I'm scared to burn this one because I it's like a collectible for me. I don't want to burn it. I know I should. I'll probably burn it this summer and just enjoy it. There's no point in like, you know, hoarding a candle in a closet forever. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was cool, and I thought I would mention that. I will say, like, it is kind of sad because I really did smell the two on cold and just compared them in this original one, which, how do I know when this was poured? I think, where's the pour date on this one? This is a different, like, bottom label than this one has. Is it, I think that's the label right here. So 2018. It's just kind of sad because this one for me, oh my gosh, it's just so much stronger on cold. So I just can't even imagine how much stronger how much stronger on burn this one will be but um yeah i will probably burn it this summer and just enjoy it um no need to like hoard any candles in a closet forever but um yeah let's go ahead and get into this review um this is currently available on homeworks.shop this is no longer available so yeah just thought i would show you that but um 
So very trifle. It's available on homeworks.shop. I will leave it in the link down below. Shoot, we just lost a wick. Thankfully, I have a lighter right here. So let me just relight this. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is available on homeworks.shop. I will leave the link down below. So our notes on here are raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, and Grand Marnier sauce. Uh, are those the same notes on here? I'm wondering. Yep, they are. All right, so this is such a delicious scent. If you are a fan of Harry's Gourmands, then you will definitely love this one. Um, it is so good. So it's kind of like a fruity scent mixed with a gourmand, like pound cake almost. And oh, it's so good. Um, this, I just love the fruitiness that is in here. I feel like I get a lot of that strawberry. I feel like I get the blueberry and the raspberries. Not as much the blackberries. I feel like I just get those main three, the raspberry, blueberry, and strawberry. But it is just so delicious. And it just like combines so well with that delicious, rich vanilla pound cake scent. There's also a lot of creaminess in here, which I feel like if you can see on here, it almost looks like whipped cream. Um, and I feel like I definitely smell that. It's like that really like creamy, um, like whipped scent. It's so good. Um, I love the vanilla that is in here. I love like the sugariness that comes from that berries. This to me doesn't smell very authentic. It, it's very artificial to me, but like I just think it's so delicious and I really think that this is a good one. If you like fruit and cake mixed together, this is definitely a must have for you. Um, as far as the Grand Marnier sauce goes, I, I've never had Grand Marnier sauce. I actually didn't even know what Grand Marnier sauce was. When I, um, when I got this one and I was like reading the notes on YouTube when I was filming and I was like, Grand Marnier sauce. And I was like, what is, what is that? Um, so yeah, I'm 16, so I've never had Grand Marnier sauce, but, um, it's kind of like a fruity orange flavored liquor. So, um, I do feel like this might have a little bit of orange in it, but I don't even get, I don't get a booziness from this one necessarily. I don't really get any booziness from this one, but, um, yeah, this is just a delicious, creamy berry and cake scent. It is so good. I feel like this is one of those candles where no one's going to dislike this one. Um, it's just super like neutral and such a solid scent. Like I don't feel like anyone would dislike this. If you have to get a gift for like a housewarming party or a gift for a birthday party or just like a welcoming home scent, then I think that this would be a good one to go for because it's just neutral and everyone's going to really like it. All right, let's talk about performance. Um, so as I already showed you guys, this is a four wick candle and it's actually doing pretty well for me for the burn. Um, I am about halfway through this one. I'm not getting any like sootiness or like major wick problems. I will say I've had a couple of times where the wicks just seem like they're leaning, which is super annoying, but I do find that a lot with the Homeworks candles. Um, I find that they like to lean over a lot and that sometimes they just like literally fall over. So you have to be really careful with them. Don't burn them for more than like three hours. Um, honestly, I cut mine at three hours. I think the longest you could push is like four, but really um, three hours for me is good. Sometimes I'll even blow them out after like two hours. But um, I'm not getting any major problems. There's no like sooty issue or dirtiness or anything like that. As far as the strength and throw goes, this one is a little bit underwhelming for me. I have been burning it in the dining room, which I kind of like to call like my like room where I put candles that are really light because it's closed in. So and there's not a lot of airflow. So it kind of just like traps candles in there. And I normally can smell them better in there compared to like a kitchen where it's very open concept and it's got to fill up a huge room. But this one has been really light even in my dining room. I would probably give it like a four or a five. That is without a hurricane. I feel when I put a hurricane on it, it goes up to like a five and a half to a six. So the hurricane definitely helps. And I kind of talk about that in the blueberry cheesecake review as well. Like if you don't have a hurricane, I would definitely suggest you pick up one. 
Um, it is kind of going to cut into your burn time because I find that just like they pull out so much quicker and that can obviously become an issue. You don't want to have like a huge pool. So you might have to blow it out a little bit uh, earlier and you might not get as much burn time. But I do find that the strength and throw does get increased. It's not like a huge substantial amount with every candle, but I do find that this one increases to like a six when I have this one in a hurricane, which is pretty good. But yeah, this is just such a delicious scent. I I just love it. I freaking love it. It is so good, delicious. You guys must check this one out. It is amazing. I also really like the label on this one. Like this original label with the stripes on it is really cute. And I would love for Harry to bring this back and obviously the same performance with it. But I do really like this label. Also, this is one that people have been finding at like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx a lot. So definitely check those stores out if you're wanting to find this one there. But it is available on homeworks.shop. So I will leave the link down below. But thank you for watching, guys. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions down below in the comments. Oh, and you can save 10% off on homeworks.shop when you use my code Connor Loves Candles. That'll save you 10% on a $40 minimum purchase. Use that if you want. Um, it's up to you. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit back from it, but it's not like a ton, and it just goes right back into my channel. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.